this bad beast is the G16E GTS. It's a 1.6 liter turbocharged three cylinder engine. I can't let those numbers fool you people. This thing packs an incredible 300 horsepower and 273 foot pounds of torque at 4,000 RPM, which we definitely felt out there. Yeah, the car feels amazing. Pulling you out, especially those tight turns. Made it with the six speed transmission, which is geared perfectly and the IMT, which is the rev matching downshift. And if there's, we're in 2022, if there's some, a button that I can press that's gonna rev match for me, I'm doing it. Especially if it makes me seem like a better driver than I actually am, I will take it. But speaking of being out on the racetrack, there was something else that I noticed while you were driving, and that is the exhaust. Now this is a spot where Toyota actually gathered a little bit more horsepower from. It's a three piece exhaust uniquely designed that has a flap that opens up right around 4,000 RPM, releases the horses from the stable and sounds incredible while doing it. It absolutely sounds incredible. Another thing that is incredible on this car is the GR4 system and something that we got to test back to back on three separate laps for the three different modes, which are sport, normal, and track. And my favorite was track, oh, which is, yeah. <laughs> which is the 50-50 torque split. And then you have normal, which is 60 front, 40 rear, and then sport, which is the 30 front, 70. So if you like a car that drives off the rear end, then sport is definitely your choice. And if that's not enough, there's also an available Torsen front and rear differential setup. So what you're saying is a million different ways that I can seem like a better driver in this car. So whether we're going on dirt or snow or the track, or if you're just like going to get groceries or something like that, there's a mode for you. And actually there's one more thing that I wanted to hit on before we sort of moved away from track. And that was something we really felt out there, which kind of a hallmark of the GR brand is structural rigidity. This thing felt planted and that goes into the engineering. There's extra adhesives, extra weld points, extra stiffness braces. And we really felt that. And actually you made reference to that, especially during heavy braking. Yeah, I, I cannot say enough good things about the braking system on this car. 14 inch, four piston fronts, 11.7 inch, two piston rears. And we were ripping for like four laps, very hard, hard braking everywhere. And the brakes didn't fade once. So I am beyond impressed with the system that they put on the GR Corolla. Yeah, 
this car is pretty forgiving. Oh on my the, gosh! On the turn-in standpoint, it feels like we're floating. Um, watching the okay, so there we have CT500 RPM is where we're supposed to get maximum horsepower. I'm feeling it. I don't know exactly what speed, but maybe somewhere in here is where we start to feel the stability coming in from those functional vents. I'm breaking as late as I possibly can, and I feel rock solid. Ooh. We're gonna try track mode, which is the 50-50. Okay. But the way this thing handles though, it's like, there's nothing unpredictable about it. Normally it's like, I gotta be the driver, I gotta, I've got to be able to anticipate what the right. car is gonna do. It feels so planted and glued, like so easy to drive. Ooh. Very predictable, the chassis is nice and stiff. This car took, what, like a year longer than they wanted, like they wanted to put it out a year before they actually did, but it had to hold up to Akio Toyota's. Mar yeah, Maritzo. Maritzo's. AKA Maritza's yes. expectations. This car embodies what you would expect from a hot hatch so much better though. The performance, woo! <laughs> We're now in sport mode, which is 30 front, 70 rear. Ooh. Okay, wow. So you should feel it drive nope. off the rear end a little bit Yep, better. I just happened back there, yeah. <laughs> wow, okay. First of all, switching between the modes, I was expecting to be able to feel something. It is so smooth, the transition between every single mode, normal track and sport. So I can definitely vouch for the uh, race inspired seats. Yes. I'm definitely feeling that. The seats feel phenomenal. I mean, we are, we're putting this thing through its oh, paces yeah. right now and I am not moving in a seat. No. I think this the thing sounds amazing. I know. You can tell right around 4,000 RPM when it opens up, yep. goes to that full exhaust mode, removes all of its restrictors, and just like really opens itself up. But then it has, it feels like it has that proper back pressure down low before it opens up and start frees everything up for the top end. I wonder if that's where like the, the added torque, where that torque curve, I think it's just like maximum torque is like 3,500 RPM. Yeah. So it's like it's building it up and then it's like releasing all the horses. Exactly into this like perfect little package of hot hatch like turbocharge all-wheel drive i don't know it's three like cylinder three making, cylinder making 300 horsepower and 273 foot pounds of torque i mean that's that's a hundred horsepower per cylinder that's from the factory from the factory i mean i don't know what more you could want <laughs> maybe a few more laps maybe <laughs> maybe a few more laps What's unique about these these calipers too, they're not floating style, they're planted, like they sort of use on, on more the Toyota trucks. So you're actually getting all four pistons in the front caliper, actually, yeah. and rears are, are, are not floating either. They're all fixed calipers. So like you're getting maximum braking power, you're getting all of those brake pads pushing together at this exact same yeah, time. They're big, it's a big set of brakes. Yeah. A 14 inch front rotor, and like I think it's 11, just under 12 inches on the rear. It's plenty of braking power for this car.